Next, we shall look at another type of three-dimensional problems. PQRIS below is a plot of land, and we are asked to find angle PRS. You notice that we have a given angle here and its opposite length, and therefore we can use, yes, the sine rule. Sine 70 degrees over 42 will be equal to since another length that is given is 30 meter, we will first find angle SPR and hence we will use sine angle SPR over 30. To find angle SPR, we will first multiply 30 on both sides which will give us sine angle SPR equals to 0 0.6712. Next, we shall invert sine on both sides which will give us angle SPR equals to 42.16 degrees. Finally, to find angle PRS, we will need to use 180 degrees minus 70 degrees minus 42.16 degrees. Hence, we will have 67.8 degrees rounded off to one decimal place. Next, we are asked to find the length of PQ. You notice that we have two given lengths here and an included angle and therefore we shall use the cosine rule to recall the length here will be the length that is opposite the included angle and hence c square equals to pq square and we will have 42 square plus 39 square minus 2 times 42 times 39 cosine 80 Simplifying the right hand side, we will have PQ square equals to 2716.12857. To find PQ, we shall square root on both sides to give us PQ equals to 52.1 meters rounded off to three significant figures. Now we are asked to find the area of triangle PQR. Since an included angle is given, we can use the formula area of triangle equals to half AB sine C, whereby C is the included angle. And we will have half multiplied by 42, multiplied by 39, multiplied by sine 80 degrees, which will give us 807 square centimeter rounded off to three significant figures. Next, we are asked to find the shortest distance between Q and PR. Do you know what is the shortest distance? It is actually the perpendicular distance from point Q to the line PR. And we shall call this H. Now, let us explore why this is so. To do so, we shall look at a series of lines here. Given this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 lines here, which line do you think is the shortest? The perpendicular line here is definitely the shortest because this line is opposite the right angle, same as the rest of the blue lines. They are all opposite the right angle. And the line that is opposite the right angle is always the longest length in a triangle because it will be the hypotenuse. The shortest distance between Q and PR will always be the perpendicular distance from the point Q to the line PR. Previously, we have area of triangle PQR equals to 806.558 using the formula half AB sine C. Because we are finding the perpendicular heights here, we can also use 806.558 equals to half times base, which is 42, times the perpendicular height, which is h. Next, we will simplify the right-hand side and we will have 21h. To find h, we shall divide 21 on both sides to give us h equals to 38.4 cm, rounded off to three significant figures. Let's look at another way of solving this question here. Since we have a right angle here, we can use the trigonometry ratio. With the given angle of 80 degrees here, the H will be the opposite and the 39 here will be the, yes, hypotenuse. 
and which trigonometry ratio can we use? Yes, we will use sine theta equals to opposite over hypotenuse. Substituting in the values we have sine 80 degrees equals to h over 39. To find h, we will multiply 39 on both sides to give us h equals to 38.4 cm rounded off to three significant figures. Next, we are given that a helicopter h is hovering 100 meters vertically above Q. And now, this problem has turned into a three-dimensional problem because we have a normal HQ here that is perpendicular to the plane PQRS. We are asked to find the angle of elevation of H from R. And this will be the angle that we are looking for. Do you know what's the angle of HQR? Yes, it is 90 degrees because HQ is the normal that is perpendicular to the plane. To find the angle of elevation HRQ, we shall use the trigonometry ratio since we have a right angled triangle here. And HQ is the opposite, whereby QR is the adjacent. Which trigonometry ratio can we use? Yes, we'll use tangent theta equals to opposite over adjacent. And we will have tangent theta equals to 100 over 39. To find theta, we shall inverse tangent on both sides to give us theta equals to 68.7 degrees rounded off to one decimal place. Let's look at a final question here. We are asked to find the greatest angle of elevation of the helicopter H from PR. Now let's say this point here will be the point with the greatest angle of elevation and we shall name it as X. Next, we will draw a triangle joining X to H and Q. And angle HQX will be 90 degrees because HQ is the normal. In order to find the angle of elevation HXQ, we will need another length to be found. Do you know what's the length of XQ? To find this length, let's look at this diagram here. We have redrawn HQX into a two-dimensional triangle. We are told that angle HXQ must be the greatest angle. Since angle HQX is always 90 degrees, if this is the greatest angle, then angle XHQ must be the smallest angle, which means that the length XQ yes, will be the shortest length. And we have seen previously that the shortest length is actually the length that is perpendicular from Q to PR. HQ will be 100 meters and SQ here will be 38.4075 meters as found in the previous question. Sometimes if you cannot visual the diagram three-dimensionally, you can redraw the triangles into a two-dimensional triangle. Do you know how to find angle HXQ here? Yes, we will have the opposite and adjacent sides and we will use tangent theta equals to opposite over adjacent. Substituting in the values, we will have tangent theta, which is angle HXQ equals to 100 over 38.4075. To find the greatest angle of elevation, we will inverse tangent on both sides to give us theta equals to 69.0 degrees rounded off to one decimal place. Therefore, the greatest angle of elevation of H from PR equals to 69.0 degrees. In summary, when we are given right angled triangles, we can use the following formulas. So Cartois for the trigonometry ratios and c squared equals to a squared plus b squared for Pythagoras theorem and area of triangle equals to half times base times perpendicular height. For all triangles, we can use sine rule when we are given an angle and its opposite side. 
and we can use cosine rule when we are given three sides or two sides and an included angle. To find the area of triangle, we can use half times a times b times sine c when we are given two sides a b and an included angle. Just to stress again, the formulas here on the left can only be used for right angled triangles, while the formulas on the right can be used for any triangles, even right angled triangles. That's all for this topic.